hit a mirror. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to I Hate America with me, Jay Crumbie, not Jay Crumblebottom. Jaden, next time you do that, you will be fired. This morning, the talk of the week, from what I've heard about my son tweeting on Twitter, uh, yo, hashtag I Hate America, uh, that the slang that these kids use are just, it's just hilarious to them about how adults these days try to figure it out like this morning I, he he said GM to me at in a text and I was like what does that mean son he said good morning I was like wow that's that's easy so I wanted to I wanted to learn it myself so now we are doing a newscast on it like yo huh. it's, uh, what was it say son son what does that say son I can't read this Son, come here, come here, son, come here, come here, come here. What is that? What does that say? What does that say? That's a uh, G O O M G. What does that mean? It 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 means oh my gosh, Dad. Okay, okay. Thank you, son. Thank you. Uh, oh my gosh. Now we're going to. Uh, I just got an an update from my reporter that they are now at Eastside Technical Center getting some news and opinions on the matter. Uh. Can we transfer to can we transfer to Mr. Midnight, please? We're gonna transfer you over to Mr. Midnight. Thank you. Thanks, Jay. Uh, my name is Mr. Midnight. We are at Eastside Technical Center trying to get some views on our uh, caption today. Now, ooh, this one right here. What's your name, sir? My name is C.J. Nicholson. Okay, uh, sir. I have a question for you. Uh, what do you think? What is your view or opinion? on how kids today use slang and acronyms to convey a message. I mean, slang and acronyms and stuff like that, especially when it comes to texting, it's our culture, it's our generation, it's different than anybody else's. It's what makes us us. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, CJ, sorry. Thank you, sir. Let's, let's keep, let's, let's travel more into the, uh, the room. Let's go, uh, let's go. So, ma'am, what is what is your name? Um, Sada. Okay. Uh, could you give me your view on uh, slang and how kids you have word choice in That's what I'm going to figure out. Let's get yours written because I think uh, slang has become more creative and more funny, and I hope it continues to be like that. So for now, just write here, write any statistics you have, or just be clear that you know. Follow me again. Let us exit. You can go on tree. You made your tooth. Thank you. So, today, we have learned a valuable experience today. Learned valuable opinions on how kids today in 2018 at Eastside Technical Center use slang and acronyms to convey a, a short message or, or in a conversation. I would like to say that slang to myself is actually is easier, but it's kind of funny to see how the old people these days get confused on how we're, or what we're talking about. It's hilarious. But today, I think we learned a valuable thing. Back to you, Jay. Well, thank you, Mr. Midnight, for that wonderful, wonderful uh, reporting job you just did. Let's never hire him again. Uh, thanks, folks, for joining us today, and I hope you can join us next time for our new next newscast. Our next one is on Nint and the Nintendo Switch <laughs> and how uh, it is better than any other gaming system out there. Dad, you are very wrong, Xbox One game. Son, you are now grounded for coming in here and saying that. You can't ground me. I sexually identify as an airplane. Next week, we are talking about the different types of genders there are and what you can say you are. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs>
Have a good day. Cut it.